Opus One is my first album as a band leader. Uh, it contains mainly my own compositions and some arrangements of pieces I, uh, I really like a lot and that are really important to me. The title is Opus One and it references of course that it's my first recording. It's my first uh, compilation of works that I made until now. But it also has a very uh, significant reference to classical music. Uh, I added a classical wind quintet to my jazz quartet. I think I started around one year ago uh, to compose for this. And the more I started composing for it, the more I really felt this is something I wanted to do. And it gives me more freedom to look for more original compositions, to find more special colors. And that's why the reference to classical music is very important for the CD. The last two years I spent quite some time on my uh, composing and arranging skills. It's just something I love to do, but it's also something that I find very important in music. And especially now in jazz music, I feel in the jazz scene, uh, this is something that I miss sometimes. And I think we can really learn from especially classical composers or even in pop music or different styles. And I think that especially melody and a good form and a good shape of a piece is very essential in, for any style in good music. And especially now as a jazz musician I feel when I improvise and I compose a song that has a lot of different colors and a very inter interesting shape I feel I can really explore more and it's more of a dialogue between composition and improvisation instead of two layers on top of each other. If I would have to describe my own music, I would say it's very lyrical, at least that's what I try and that means that I really want to spend a lot of time on writing good melodies and writing beautiful shapes and beautiful sounds that are usually very melancholic and also a bit nostalgic. I think it's just a very personal thing that I enjoy listening to and that is my personality, let's say, and that comes out in what I write. It's a very personal album, especially because it's the first one and it's for me really kind of tribute to everyone that inspired me and that made me the musician I am today and the person as well. And people, especially as a composer, people that inspired me are musicians like Wayne Shorter and Thelonious Monk in jazz, but also Mozart and Gershwin you will hear on the album. And also some Brazilian music all the way to South America. I think this makes this album also very unique because there's so many different elements but it all connects together because it's all part of my personality and my story. And a good example of this is Samba Jipogo. It's a tune I wrote quite recently. And I'm very fortunate that great Brazilian singer Lilian Vieira, uh, she agreed to sing this song. And she really was able to capture the nostalgic feel of this album in my music by talking about the old heroes of the samba and about the old and the new and about connecting them. And at the same time, it's just so much fun to play it and I think also to listen to it. And it's what she said in the first phrase of the song, it's dance until your feet are bleeding. I am very excited to present this album. I really want to show it to everyone, so please uh, follow me on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram. 
follow my website if you want to check uh, when I'm playing and what the news is about my music. And well, I hope to see you at one of my concerts soon.